Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The How. Tonight we are going all Jamie Lannister on your backsides. We're doing a beer from Buxton. Which one? You can probably guess by the name of Jamie Lannister it is. Kingslayer. And Kingslayer is a double IPA weighing in at 8% ABV. And it's available in Tesco's for £3.50 a can. And there's not an awful lot I can tell you about it on based on what's on the can. Uh, there's just really not a lot of information. You've got the ingredients list, the usual water, barley, oats, wheat, hops, and yeast. And you've got some pretty kick-ass can artwork, as we can see. Um, it's not quite the Lannister lion, it's more of a Targaryen dragon, but anyway, we'll forgive them that. Um, yeah, so there we are. It's a double IPA, and I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Uh, let's crack it open and see what we get. So, we're pouring into the tiny rebel glass today, and the pour is hazy, super hazy. We've not got a lot of carbonation rolling here. Now we're getting a nice head, there we go. There we are. Look at that. Now, I had wild boar the other day and that looked amazing and this looks equally incredible. Uh, looking at the camera screen that's just over there, it does not look as juicy as it does here. This is murky as hell. You've got juice, lots and lots of juice and you've got a good solid finger of tight compact white head. That's your beer in a glass. Looks amazing. Let's have a whiff. Ooh. Big pineapple, little bit of mango, little bit of melon, but mostly a tropical, rich, ripe pineapple and mango. Yeah, it smells incredible. It looks absolutely amazing. It's it looks like chicken stock, you know, that's that's the kind of depth of of, of murk that you've got going on. Looks incredible, smells amazing. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's got lots and lots of things that I like. You've got a bit of bitterness up front. Quite a bit of bitterness, let's be honest. You've got lots and lots of tropical juice. You've got that ripe mango that, that whilst it plays second fiddle to the pineapple on the nose, it's dominant on the flavor. You've got rich, rich depth of flavor here and it's tropical, it's juicy. And first and foremost, it's hoppy and that's what I love. It's a big hitting, slightly bitter, I say slightly, a bit more than slightly bitter it, and, and the body, the body is, mm, it's thick. It's got a lovely kind of heavy mouthfeel to it. It's not cloying or anything like that. It's just really, really tasty, thick, juicy. It's yeah, it's wonderful. Now bitterness that you get first of all, after a few sips kind of dissipates and you're left with more of the hop than you are the bitterness. Then the juice comes in. And the finish, I, I, I would expect a little bit of bitterness there, but it's not. It's nice and sweet and juicy. It's very, very easy drinking as well. There is no real hint of that 8% whatsoever. The only clue that it's going to be there is just that really big hot presence. And I love it. I do. I love my big smash you in the face with hops, hop bomb. Dippers, tippers, IPAs, you name it. If it's hoppy and bitter, I love it. And this one fits the bill. It's not as bitter as some. This is what I would call a nice balance of bitterness with the sweetness of the juice. Love it. Mm. The question is, how do they make it so good for only £3.50? That's what I ask you. Mm. Lovely. 
Lovely. So, Kingslayer, double IPA. Would I buy you again? I would. Absolutely buy it again. I have got nothing really bad to say about it. Would I rush out and buy it again? Very silly question. Yes, I would. Um, yeah, 100% I would rush out and buy this again. For £3.50, with the depth of flavour that it's got, the presence of hop, that perfect balance of bitterness and sweetness throughout the whole thing, it's a bit of a miracle. There you go. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's beggar's belief that they can produce this for £3.50. How? I don't know. Is it wizardry? Has uh, one of the Lannisters gone down to get the maester and they've conjured up something incredible? Who knows? But it's good. It's very good. And I would rush out and buy it again. Hell, I would go so far to say as I would definitely 100,000% rush out and buy it again. And I'm going to say this point. There's no real debate about the score. Uh, the Wild Boar IPA that Buxton bought out and is available in Morrison's was incredible and that got top marks. This is equally incredible, if not a little bit more so. And it's a shame you can't really go above 5 out of 5 on the old untapped score sheet because this would get it. Um, so let's give it 5 out of 5 on the old untapped score sheet. So if you haven't tried it, I suggest you do. Get yourself down to Tesco's and enjoy a good few of these while you still can. Um, because summer will be gone before long and it won't be the weather for an IPO, it'll be the weather for the stouts, which uh, coincidentally Buxton are providing on that front as well. Uh, but we'll cover that in another video later. So we are at the point in the video now, ladies and gents, where you know exactly what's coming. Down there are some buttons, you know exactly what to do with them. Get your like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And if you've tried Kingslayer, let me know in the comments section below. It'd be great to hear from you. So on that note, I'm going to go and drink the rest of this lovely beer and I will see you again soon. That's been the beer. I've been Nick and I'll see you again later. Ta-da.